Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a collective haul. It's been a while since I've placed an actual, like, uh, yes? Just me rubbing alcohol. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Rex, come on, buddy. <laughs> So it's been a while since I placed like one big makeup order. I think my last one was like that Big Shot Missé haul I did a few months ago. If you miss it, I'll link it up in the cards. Because what I've really been doing is just placing small orders here and there just for things that I need. I haven't really gone out of my way to buy stuff until like recently. <laughs> So what I have here, as I've, I actually have a little bit of PR, I have two orders from two indie makeup brands, and then I have one like small Sephora order and then one small Ulta order. So that will unbox everything and show you what I picked up recently. So let's start with the PR. So I normally don't like to like show off PR, show off too much, um, unless I'm actually doing a full review on it. But this kind of cracked me up when I got the notification that I was receiving it, because this is actually a product I talked mad shit about in a BWOW not too long ago. Okay, so now I honestly can't remember if I already mentioned this. Um, I might have, but it, you know, I'm gonna say it again. So ABH, they came out with another big Norvina palette and it's literally just a bigger version of the original ABH Norvina palette. And it's like a, a less good version, especially from what I've heard. I've heard the formula in these big Norvina palettes is not the same as these 12 pan palettes. So you're getting a bigger palette with redundant shades in a worse quality formula. Yikes. Honestly, I really like the Norvina palette, the original one. Um, I'd recommend this one. You pick it up. I was actually at Ulta the other day and I saw they actually still have this for sale. So I think it's still available. Um, but I saw this out on display and they, I think they had a couple in there. So I think you can still purchase this at some places. Um, I'd recommend just getting this one because this is actually really good and staying away from those gigantic, annoying, like big Norvina palettes. Especially because it's $60. $60 for this. No, 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 no. So yeah, after all of that, I got the palette in PR. <laughs> Influencer was kind enough to send me this palette and then also a pair of the Norvina lashes. So I will be testing those out. This is the palette. <laughs> I have to say in person, the packaging is gorgeous, but you can't put packaging on your face. So the thing is huge also. I didn't think they were actually like, look how big this is. It's as big as it's bigger than my head. It is bigger than my head. So this is the palette. <laughs> I have to say, I'm actually really curious now because I am going to test it. I'm going to test it side by side with the original Norvina palette. This is also my first time trying any of the new Norvina palettes overall because this is volume five. Volume five. There's four others. And I just, I heard the bad reviews. I saw the price point and I was like, it's not worth it. I don't want to pick it up. So now that it's sent to me, I'm going to thoroughly test it. So... Um, it might not be like immediately because I do want to take my time to test this out, but I will be coming out with a full review video and also comparing the side by side of the original ABH Norvina palette. So that just tickled me pink when I got that notification from Influencer. <laughs> And like I mentioned before, Influencer threw in this pair of Norvina lashes, which I didn't even realize like they were making lashes specifically in the Norvina subbrand for ABH. So yeah, we'll see. I'll try them out. Next is a palette collab that I jumped on. I, of course, picked up the Lethal Cosmetics and Teresa is Dead collab called Lethal is Dead. And I have to say this palette, stunning. This is gorgeous. And I cannot wait to dig in and test this out. I will be doing also another full review of this. I don't want to like rush it. Again, I don't like rushing palette reviews because I want to take my time and let you know whether or not it's actually worth it. But this will be coming. One thing that I don't like right off the bat was that because this company is based in Germany, the shipping, it like half the cost of this palette was shipping. So it, that was a little bit disappointing, but I guess it is a taste of what my overseas viewers have to deal with like all the time, trying to get products that are easily available here in the States. So I will factor that into my review, but that is something that I think is, you know, warrants a discussion because shipping costs are prohibi prohibit prohibitive. So that happens when I film late at night, but shipping costs are prohibitive depending on where you live. So a uh, full review of this will be coming up. I also love the, well, the packaging, it came with a little unit carton, and then I just love the, like this, I'm gonna keep this and probably hang this up somewhere because it just looks really cool. Next, a new indie, not a new indie brand, but an indie brand that is new to me that I just found recently and I'm so excited about is called Necromancy Cosmetica, and it's an alternative brand based out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, and the vibes, the vibes are just 
chef's kiss. So I picked up the, I think the cutest eyeshadow palette I have ever seen in my entire life. This is called the A Gothic Romance palette and it's literally folded up to look like a book. Like look, it looks like little book pages. I, I gotta zoom in. So as you can see, it's like made to look like a book, a spine of a book. And then here it looks like book pages. And then what you do is you pull it out of here got is it upside down of course it is you've got that uh one side pops off and is a mirror and then you open the palette up how beautiful is this look at those colors and then flip it and you've got the design on the back this is just the most like unique idea for an eyeshadow palette and it's stunning. This is absolutely stunning. I saw this and I knew I had to have it. This is going on display back behind me. This is so cool. I haven't used it yet. So I just, I want to take pictures of it first because it looks beautiful. And then you fold it back up, you put the mirror back on this side and then you put it back in its little bookcase. Oh, I love this. That's so cool. Okay, so I got the eyeshadow palette. <laughs> And they also have a line of lipsticks. So I picked up, this is the Berry, no, what is the lipstick called? The lipstick shade is called Morgue. I forgot what the line of lipsticks is called. I'll have it up here on the screen. Um, but I picked up a black lipstick from them because I've actually been picking up a couple of black lipsticks for my next Best and Worst in Black Lipsticks video, which I'm planning to have out sometime late September, early October of this year. Um, but it's a bullet lipstick and it's a bullet black lipstick. So I'm excited to try this out. The packaging feels a little really lightweight. Um, I feel like if I try to push up the lipstick a little too quickly or harshly, it might break it. So I have to be very careful, I think, of this packaging. But I'm excited to test this out and to support this awesome like indie brand that I have never even heard of. I'm pretty sure I saw someone share a photo of theirs on Instagram and then I just fell down a rabbit hole with like their awesome aesthetic. Oh my god, I can't I can't get over how much I love <laughs> the aesthetic of this brand. Um, so yeah, and I will have them linked down below if you're interested. Um, and also, again, I love the little cards that come with makeup. This is like the photo shoot they did for the palette. How awesome is that? And then that's another shot of the palette. And then here's, this is a card about their lipsticks. Oh, it's so it's the matte lipstick. And this is the full range of shades they have in their lipsticks. And the one that I got is down here is Morgue. But they have so many other colors. How awesome is that? So this is awesome. I cannot wait to dig in and try these products. And I'm happy to actually like be buying more from more indie brands. Next, let's do the Ulta order. So this was more um, skincare focused. I didn't realize until I ran out that I was out of a couple of things in my skincare routine. So I placed an order to pick them up quickly. So the skincare product that I totally ran out of was from The Ordinary and it's just the 100% cold pressed rose hip seed oil. Normally I have multiple backups, so I'm surprised I didn't pick up more. I thought I had more. Um, so I just picked up three bottles of it. I use this daily and I just love using it in my PM routine just to mix in with my moisturizer. It gives me just a really nice glow, super moisturizing, and it helps reduce uh, red spots, which I do tend to get a lot after um, I do get some acne and they kind of wear down. And then I get like a big red spot. I don't think you can see it over here, but I end up with red spots and this is one of the only things I've seen that actually really helps reduce those. So I always make sure I have multiples on standby. Since I was going to place the order for those, I wanted to pick up a couple of products that I've had just on my mind for a little bit. First of all was the e.l.f. the new putty primer. So this is the Acne Fighting Putty Primer. I'm just really curious to see whether or not this actually works, especially around um, my mouth because I am still wearing masks when we go out in public. I tend to not wear a full face of makeup when I'm, I know I'm going to be wearing a mask, but I still have been breaking out a lot down here just because of mask wearing. Um, so I want to see if this helps at all. Next, I picked up a foundation that I really, really like and I haven't had in just a little bit. This is from Catrice. This is the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade 010. Next, I, I wanted to pick up this product for a while and I think it was sold out on the Ulta website for a bit and I finally decided to pick it up. This is from NYX and this is the Multitasker Mixing Medium. So this is the product you can use to kind of mix with either shadows or powder products to make them into like a liner. And I just, I wanted to get more creative. I've wanted to do different liner kind of colors and like techniques. Um, and I know that my glitter glue lasts me forever. So I thought this would also last me a long time and I really wanted to try it out. So 
picked it up. And last but not least from the Ulta order, I saw really great reviews for this product and I realized I kind of want to shake up my uh, under eye routine because I do have fine lines down there. I do have bags. They've gotten better since I've gotten, you know, more consistent with my skincare routine. Um, but I thought about investing in a, a different or a more moisturizing, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Not hardcore. <laughs> uh, what am I thinking of? intense okay or a more intense kind of under eye treatment to start using and i found this. this is the first product i picked up from good molecules and this is the yerba matte wake up eye gel so it's an under eye gel and i i've seen it online and people rave about it and i was just like you know what i need to finally i want to pick it up and try it out so it comes in a little squeezy tube so i'm going to start using this once i finish up my next i've got a caffeine solution that i'm still working my way through so once that's done i'm going to start using this one so that's everything from the ultra order let's go into the last order i have here which is from sephora all right, from Sephora. First, let's talk about the little samples that I got. I didn't request, oh, I did request this one. Um, so this is from Fresh. This is the Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. So it's an under eye cream that I kind of just want to test out because I saw it available. Next, I got a sample packet of this primer from Guerlain and it's the gold primer. I'm pretty sure I had a multi, like a, a deluxe sample of this a while ago and it's good but not however much that bottle cost good, you know? So, so if I see sample available, yeah, I'll pick up a sample. I won't buy the full product, you know? Um, so I got that. I also used the promo codes that you can use if you buy over a certain amount on Sephora's website. And I got a little mini of the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I love this smell. As a lotion, it's just like, okay, but this, this it just smells amazing. And uh, so my Fifi told me that apparently there was like a TikTok going around where someone found a dupe for this that's from Trader Joe's. And apparently it's been sold out everywhere. Um, but if that's a real dupe, uh, yeah, I'll, I will be all over that because I love the scent of this. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't found a scent dupe for it yet because I even tried. So um, Sol de Janeiro also came out with like a shower gel and I thought, oh, great, I can get that and get the scent and everything. The shower gel was trash. I was actually really upset that I bought it because <laughs> it was trash. Um, so until I can find a good dupe for this, I'll just pick up the samples wherever I can. All right. So the actual order that I placed, uh, like I said earlier, I am collecting black lipsticks for the, my next best and worst of black lipsticks video. So I picked up three black lipsticks. The first one I got from Marc Jacobs, and because Marc Jacobs is discontinuing their makeup line, everything was heavily discounted. So I think I ended up only paying like 10 or $13 for this. And this is a Lamarck Liquid Lip Crayon, which also, what is a liquid lip crayon? I, those don't seem compatible, but uh, okay. All right. Ooh, it looks cool. I just want to open it. Okay, so it's basically a crayon. Why is it liquid? I don't want to swatch it or anything yet, but um, okay, so I got that. <laughs> Next, I picked up a lipstick from Melt, and I have to say the packaging on this, stunning. That That's cool. Um, so this, can I, can I, can I get it open? All right, so this is their bullet lipstick, and it's in the shade Bane. Oh, I almost dropped Bane. All right, let's try that again. Um, so it's a cute, oh my god, I love the design on the actual like lipstick itself. Um, and it's a cute little bullet lipstick. I cannot wait to try this out. It feels nice and hefty. I like the packaging, though it's a lot smaller than a typical, I don't know, it feels smaller than a typical lipstick bullet. Slightly. Just slightly smaller than a bullet that I'm used to, so that's probably why I almost dropped it. But I'm excited. I can't wait to try this out. And last in my Sephora order, I picked up this lipstick from Gucci. Yeah, Gucci has a black lipstick. I am gonna butcher this because this is in French and I never took French. This is the Gucci Rouge à la Vert Satin lip color. Um, and it's in the shade Crystal Black. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my God, look at this bullet. Oh my God, it feels, I feel fancy. Oh, the packaging itself actually feels kind of cheap. Now that I, okay. All right, and there we have that. So I will be testing all these lipsticks out for my next blessed and wor blessed for my next best and worst of black lipsticks video. I need to just go eat dinner and go to bed, I guess. Anyway, so that is everything that I've picked up recently. Let me know down below if you've tried any of these products or if you have any other suggestions for black lipsticks, please. I'm excited to keep, like keep researching and pick up some new products for that, especially from indie brands. Please let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.